Tonight, a wolf moon will light up the night sky. Sky gazers can catch a glimpse of the first full moon of the year, commonly known as the wolf moon. It was named after wolves that were thought to howl more frequently this time of year. That's according to the old farmer's almanac. The best time to see this lunar event is at 6.51 this evening. Look toward the northeast, just above the horizon. Don't know if it's going to be clear enough, though, here. I don't know. We got wolves howling, blue Monday. <laughs> Why are we just glad we came it's in It's the today? apocalypse. Let's just do it. The apocalypse. Oh, my goodness. You might wow. feel like that, considering the weather is certainly not helping blue Monday. <laughs> No, it, and you're not going to see that moon, guys, at least not that early in the night. Maybe as we make our way past 10 p.m., skies are clearing. Let's talk about today. Temperatures dropped. We started at 44 degrees this morning. It actually felt pretty good if you were out early, although you probably also noted things blown all over the place after winds gusted as high as nearly 70 miles per hour overnight. Then today, temps dropped. At 2 o'clock, we're at 36 degrees. As we look live outside right now, we've got snowflakes flying. This is the case for many of of us. Snow showers are possible until roughly 10 p.m. Could see a dusting maybe an inch in spots and then we'll dry things out for your Tuesday. But 36 right now, southwest winds at 18, making it feel like the 20s for most of us. As far as what you can expect, again, a dusting is possible tonight. Maybe some spots pick up up to an inch. Tomorrow it is still blustery and feeling much colder. Saturday, we're tracking a chance for some more snow. And right now it's looking like it would be mainly snow, not rain to snow or snow to rain. So let's talk about these precip chances. 10% chance tonight of those passing snow showers. Then as we make our way through Wednesday into Thursday, this is late Wednesday into early Thursday, we're going to have a front move through, bringing us a chance for more precipitation. It looks to be more of a wintry mix, some snow and some rain. We're going to be dry and frigid on Friday. And then it is Saturday. 40% chance that a coastal storm will bring snow to the region. Here's a look at the satellite and radar picture. Here are those flakes that are flying for many of us right now. Then we also see some more trying to swing through. So until 10 p.m. tonight, as low pressure is exiting the region, we continue to see an opportunity opportunity for some more light to moderate snowfall. But for many of us, especially through portions of Jersey near Edison, you're getting some moderate snow. Here across Manhattan, we're seeing those flakes fly. On the Rockaways, you're seeing some flakes fly. And so just expect a pretty scenery. Hopefully you're enjoying it from the comfort of a warm indoor space. Here it is, the culprit, this exiting low pressure system that made for a very nasty overnight situation for us. High pressure tomorrow will dominate, but it will be much colder. And then we're watching the storm system. It'll be ultimately a clipper that passes to our north, but the tail end of it, the front, is what crosses Wednesday night into Thursday to bring us that chance for wet weather. Tomorrow, it's bright skies and blustery 20s. There's wind chills in the teens as well. And then Tuesday into Wednesday, a few more clouds build in. Wednesday, very late, really around 6 p.m. You see here maybe some showers passing through, rain showers to start. But then overnight, as the front sinks through, colder air behind it will allow for a transition for many from rain showers to snow showers early Thursday. Tonight, wind chills are in the teens and single digits, possibly as low as two below in Monticello as skies dry and clear. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and brisk. Actual high temperatures in the 20s and 30s feels like the teens to low 20s for most of us, though. And then it's nice and mild in comparison as we move on into Wednesday. 45 degrees then with clouds. Late Wednesday into Thursday. Again, we're tracking wet weather. Frigid Friday, 25, a mix of sun and clouds. And then Saturday, it's up for grabs whether or not we'll be dealing with some more snow moving through. Christina Maurice, back to you. Okay, thanks, Vanessa.